Get full access to over 10,000 episodes with your paid subscription. My Outdoor TV. Start your free trial today. Hi, I'm Mike Robinson and welcome to Farming the Wild, the lockdown special. Basically today, I'm out right at the end of the fallow deer season and uh, over the whole of the UK, very few people are out stalking deer. Um, as a recreational sport, it's considered non-essential, but where people manage deer professionally, which is what we do, we have to go out to prevent serious crop raiding and damage. Now, this morning, I'm going to see a friend of mine, Philip, who has a, a, a small farm a couple of miles away from where I am now. So, Philip, are the deer bad? I mean, what's 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 been happening recently here? Yeah, Mike, like you can see, it's a um, disaster. We've had to put up proper construction fencing to keep them out. They're just chewing away everything. And you get up in the morning and there's 50 on the field over there. There's another 200 on the field up there. It's just a disaster, especially with the ticks that they bring. So obviously we, we were only shooting males at the moment. But so if I come in the next few mornings and try and shoot a few of those males and hopefully at least make them frightened and push them off, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, that would be great. I mean, they're amazing animals, but I think we just have to manage the population. Uh, absolutely. I mean, this whole area has got a real issue with fallow deer. And in fact, all over Britain now. But, you know, the least we can do is make a start here. And then uh, I'll fill your freezer with the product afterwards. Absolutely. And the meat is just amazing. All right. Well, I'll make a start tomorrow morning. Claude and I will come over. And so if you hear a if you hear a bang under your bedroom window at six o'clock tomorrow morning, you'll know what it is. Perfect, good luck. Thanks, mate. Okay, so I'm here out the back of my friend's farm and I'm just gonna get myself. I'm gonna get all ready. So you can see, everything has to be fenced against the deer, everything. Because if it's not, nothing lives. Exactly overlapping each other, so I need to wait until the young male moves clear of the female because only males are in season. <whistles> Perfect. So um, he was moving going back into the woods so I gave him a little stop them put his head up absolutely perfect let's give it a minute so we always out of principle reload the rifle before we go and look for the deer turn the scope down to minimum So I know the deer's dead, it's all done. Um, I've got to carry the deer and the rifle and it always makes me nervous. So I always take the magazine out of the rifle before I extract the deer. Um, I have to say the bullet did an amazing job. It's uh, 120 grain GMX out of my Savage rifle and uh, it just really, really does a great job. 
I've harvested about a hundred deer this season with that bullet and rifle and scope combination and they're, they're amazing. It's really great gear. So time to deal with the deer. Phew, okay, it's in the Land Rover. Now it's back to the deer larder where we're gonna dress this deer. We're very close, so I don't need to dress it on the spot. I can take it back and do it because it'll be within 15 minutes of shooting it. I've bled the deer, blood pressure's out of the system. This deer will be gralloped, gutted, hung up, chilling within 15 minutes. Well, I, one thing I really love in life is an early morning and uh, a cup of tea, having just achieved when we're out managing these deer. And uh, I mean, it's not too, it, it, it's not too, too small a number to suggest that within 10 miles of where I live, there's probably 3,000 fallow deer, as well as munchak and roe deer. So management and control is a really serious thing. And I'm very blessed that I have my restaurants, which hopefully will soon reopen. And uh, also we, we use this venison to the full. So at the moment, what we're doing is we're, we're, we're cutting all these deer that we're shooting at the moment, because we're not selling to the restaurants we've created a box scheme whereby people can go online and order this beautiful wild venison. And uh, our larder is state of the art. So what we call a deer larder would be a, a deer processors. And um, we built this two years ago and it's fully government regulated. So, um, you know, every deer is inspected by a government veterinarian <clears throat> for quality, there's traceability, there's, there's, there's incredible precision in the data. So. If someone's buying venison off us or a restaurant, I can tell them who shot it, where, on what day, in what exact location. But it's really awesome and I love doing it. We hope you've enjoyed this free episode. To continue watching, start your free trial now.